Hello and welcome back. This is Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Well, we're at the phase in our project here in uh, Santa Fe Springs, California, where we have installed the subsurface drip. We have basically installed the backflows or the anti-siphon valves and irrigation system with the drip filter and pressure regulator combination and we got things graded out we're starting to test out the system here to see what type of grid we're going to get with our layout <clears throat> the system's been on now for approximately five minutes and we have approximately uh, six inches of coverage that has been that has taken place in the past five minutes some areas it looks like we have a little bit better coverage from the standpoint of the amount of water that's going to be dispersed or uh, dispersed out of the system as opposed to the others we actually have two valves here one that controls the uh, west end of the property and the other valve controls the east end of the property so right now we have the east side on but we have uh, distribution tubing that goes around close to these planter beds well eventually we will pony off of these drip lines with a drip emitter for these beds for the shrubs that we are planning on putting in um, but it seems like everything is intact and uh, working pretty well. Here's our setup over here. We have some Rainbird um, pressure regulated filters and uh, Hunter anti-siphon valves. You know I use uh, two different types of manufacturing um, components but that's just my preference. I like the Hunter valves and I do like the uh, pressure regulated filters made by Rainbird so I'm promoting both companies. Anyway, there's our hook up there and uh, our drip line distribution line that goes around for the planter bit close to the house. We have our clean out down here. And so we're at the phase of the project now. We can order our sod and I'm going to put down um, a top dressing of compost to get things microorganistic organistically happening. I think I coined up that word. I have to look it up on Wikipedia. Anyway, we're going to put compost down, about an inch layer of compost, then we're going to lay our side down, water roll it, give it a good drenching with overhead watering, get things started out. We're going to also apply a hydrophobic product that's going to help retain the water at the root level by attracting the water vapor from the pore spaces to the roots of the turf. So we're going to apply that just before we put the, uh, the turf down. So that's where we're at here in uh, Santa Fe Springs, California. Moving right along with the project. Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping.